right what's up by four non blondes this is the uh, chord structure of the song and uh, there's a very interesting rhythm which goes on in the song which i'll also talk about but first of all let's go through the chords it's on the key of a major originally and the chord progression is basically a major which is the one chord of a major then b minor which is the two chord of a major then the four chord which is d major and back to the one chord which is a major okay now this song doesn't have a lot of piano in fact i i don't think i can hear the piano in the song at all so we'll just have to adopt a part the guitarist is basically going tang tag dan dag dag dang dang dan dag dan dag dag dang dang and all the the hits which i'm producing which my with my voice are the actual notes which the guitarist is holding or playing on the guitar however all the other notes are basically the uh, ghost notes where the left hand of the guitar mutes the strings right and that creates a very percussive effect on the piano we can't really do that because there are no ghost notes possible on this instrument so i'll show you a few tricks later on in the lesson if you are at a more intermediate stage so it's basically this groove tan tan tag tang 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 tan tang 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 so i've written down that pattern here you guys can just check this out 1 e and 2 e and 3 e and 4 e and 1 e next chord 2 e and 3 e and 4 e and e and 2 e and 3 e and 4 e and back to a and of course the guitarist will color it with So let's see what I'm doing. Step one: try to first of all get these hits which I've marked down, the five hits in your right hand. Okay, one, two, three, and E. One E and two E and three E and O. Uh, D. A. And if you can, try to get it by snapping the pulse. Very, very important. Before your left hand comes in. try your best to get the pulse and a two and a d okay and then in your left hand what i'm doing is i'm basically playing the roots of the chords a b d a and if you look at my right hand the chords are very close to each other that means i'm using a concept called chord inversions okay and if you are not so familiar with playing chord inversions i would advise you to check out our youtube channel where we've done an entire series on chord inversions i've done about four or five parts at different skill levels so if you feel you're a little shaky with chord inversions or if you have no clue about it at all try to check out the links which we've shared in the description right so anyway coming back so that's a major b minor d major and a major in that unique 16th note rhythm which i showed in the left hand basically you play just octaves in the left hand and with this thumb of the left hand not this thumb there is only one thumb right so with the thumb of your left hand you basically play the additional ghost notes you can even add this thumb with the right hand and both the thumbs together can create that ghost effect which guitarists do so effortlessly so with this is without the ghost not bad at all with the ghost notes
and another thing I I need to mention is if you don't have the space for the octave in the left hand, you can go to the fifth. In this case, the thumb's already taking over, right? And then you may have to play higher. And when you play higher, it goes into the range of the vocalist, which will get a bit annoying because then the audience will will not enjoy what she's singing. at that point so it's good to stay your ground with the right hand but the left hand whenever it collides with the right hand instead of the octave perhaps you could play the fifth so let's see how that goes so as you can see these two fingers either the index or the thumb of my left hand and the thumb of my right hand are creating that that strumming that ghosting effect which guitarists do so well so let me just try playing the whole thing a bit slowly So it's quite a fun song to play a lot of high energy and it's a great band song if you are starting off um you will definitely learn a lot timing staying with your band and it's also very very entertaining so um yeah have fun playing this song and try and share it with us if you've played it that'll be cool cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers